Hello, my name is Cristina Galvan. I am a dermatologist at the University Hospital of Mostoles in Madrid, Spain. My colleague, Dr. Alba Catala, and I are the leader authors of the study published in the British Journal of Dermatology, Classification of the Cutaneous Manifestation of COVID-19, a rapid prospective nationwide consensus study in Spain. Like in other countries, since the disease reached Spain, dermatologists have not two facts. The presence of cutaneous manifestations in patients diagnosed with COVID-19 and the appearance of unusual and repetitive cutaneous alteration among people with mild or without symptoms of the disease. As it happens with other viral diseases, well-categorized cutaneous manifestations could be of great help for diagnosis, prognosis, and epidemiological knowledge of COVID-19. We propose to conduct a study during two weeks during the peak of the pandemic aimed to categorize the cutaneous signs of COVID-19, to define and classify them, and also to find out their eventual diagnostic, pronostic, and epidemiological significance. We include 375 patients with COVID-19 and concomitant skin alterations that have no other clear explanation. In the middle of the recruitment period, four dermatologists blindly reviewed the photographs without any clinical information. We reached a consensus on the different cutaneous patterns and almost all cases could be classified into five dermatological patterns. At the end of the recruitment period, these five patterns were applied to the whole dataset of pictures. After crossing demographic and clinical data with the dermatological pattern, we found very interesting associations. So the children pattern, this pattern affects younger patients, takes place later in the course of the disease, and is associated with less severe disease. Vesicular lesions that appear in middle-aged patients are more common before the beginning of other symptoms and are associated with moderate severity. Urticarial and macular papular lesions usually appear at the same time than the rest of the symptoms and are associated with more severe COVID-19. Some of the maculopapular lesions show perifollicular distribution, remind erythema libatonditinum, erythema multiforme, and pityariasis rosea. Divido or necrosis, in this group we found lesions suggesting occlusive vascular disease of different severity, including ischemia, purpuric flexural lesions, and transit libido reticularis, and are more usual in older patients with more severe disease. We thank the contribution of the many dermatologists and the support of the Spanish Academy of Dermatology in this huge and timely effort. We believe that our study meets the pursuit objectives and that the definition of the skin manifestation patterns can be a valuable tool to diagnose post-symptomatic patients, to give prognosis information, and from the epidemiological point of view, to approach the disease in countries with little access to diagnostic tests. Thank you very much.